Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, May 28th. It's the sixth week in the Easter season, and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this uh, service, Psalm 78, verses 40 to 55, and Luke chapter 11, verse 1 through 13. And join me now in singing verse 5 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. You rule by your resistless might, will rebel mortals dare, provoke the eternal to the fight, and tempt that dreadful war. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. How often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. Psalm 78, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness and grieved you in the desert. They turned back and tempted you and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember your strength, nor the day when you delivered them from the enemy. How you had wrought signs in Egypt and wonders in the field of Zoan. You turned their rivers into blood that they could not drink, and you sent all sorts of flies among them which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. You also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. You destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. You gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to hot thunderbolts. You cast on them the fierceness of your anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble by sending a troop of evil angels among them. You gave free course to your anger, and did not spare their lives from death, but gave them over to the pestilence. You struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the finest flower in the tabernacles of Ham, but made your own people go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And you led them in safety, so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And you brought them to the border of your holy land, even to this mountain, which your right hand had purchased. You cast out the heathen before them, and divided the land for their inheritance, and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, how often they provoked you in the wilderness, and grieved you in the desert. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. And Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. 
For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give you a snake instead? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Guide us to your eternal dominion, O Shepherd of Israel, for only in you can we live in safety. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.